We'll start in a seated position. You can sit on a pillow to help lift your hips up. And that also helps relax our hip flexors here. You can also sit on a rolled up mat. That also props you up a bit. And notice what foot you naturally want to place in front and then switch. So switch your legs in your cross-legged position. And you can rock from side to side, front to back, to kind of gauge where your center is today. And then settle in while lifting out through the crown of the head. And to do that, we have a slightly tucked chin. The crown of the head still stays up versus tucking the chin all the way down, just slightly to keep the length of the spine. That's one of our locks. We have a core lock and a chin lock. The core lock is squeezing up on the rectum, the sex organs, and the navel. That's all part of your core. And you can close your eyes. You can rest your hands face down to ground or face up to receive energy. And just begin to notice your breath. And then start to inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Notice any sensations in your body here. Be aware of the back of your body, the space behind you that you can't see. And when you inhale, imagine your body is a balloon and you're expanding in all directions at once as you inhale. And as you exhale, you're squeezing out all the air from your balloon. With your eyes closed, keep the gaze in and up towards the third eye point, which is the space between the eyebrows, creating a focal point. And then while you're here, I invite you to think of a word to use as your intention today. And I'm going to read a quote that may help you guide your intention. <clears throat> it's based off of gratitude. Others will always show you exactly where you are stuck. They say or do something and you automatically get hooked into a familiar way of reacting, shutting down, speeding up, or getting all worked up. When you react in the habitual way with anger, greed, and so forth, it gives you a chance to see your patterns and work with them honestly and compassionately. Without others provoking you, you remain ignorant of your painful habits and cannot train in transforming them into the path of awakening. So allow yourself to take in what resonates with you as you set your intention and let go of anything you don't need there. And we'll inhale for eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one, hold. And then exhale through the nose slowly for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Notice any shifts in your body. And then begin to rub your palms together. Creating heat and energy in the body. And then open the palms and feel the energy between them. And wash that over your face. And all the way down, brush it out over the legs. And then again, again rub the palms together. Feel the energy between them. And then wash it down your face and across your chest, massaging one shoulder with one of your hands. And then rub, draw it down across your chest, out the right side. And then the other side, massaging. Draw it out and down. And then take your shoulders around in a circle. And through the nose and out through the nose. And then reverse that by squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening the chest, rolling up and forward. Relax your jaw by slightly parting your lips here. And then relax your shoulders Squeeze them all the way up to your ears and then let them drop down. Squeeze and then let them drop. Inhale, hinge forward at the hips, taking a circle around like your pelvis is a bowl and you're tilting it in all directions. Using your hands against your knees. Allow the crown of the head to just move along for the ride, not really going anywhere. Just following the pelvis and the hips. Coordinating your breath with your movement. And then we reverse the circle. Inhale forward, exhale around and back. And open the hands out to the sides. Expand, open the heart. Reach even farther as you reach all the way up, interlacing the fingertips. Sending the pinky to the back wall. Lifting the rib cage off the hips. Squeeze the biceps against the ears. Keep your chin lock here. Squeeze your rectum, your sex or organs, and your navel up and in. 
Inhale, hold at the top. Exhale through the mouth, keep your arms up. Inhale. Through the nose, squeeze all the way up and in, hold. Exhale, arms come down. Take your right hand behind your back and your left hand to your knee, gently twisting to the right, sending the gaze over your right shoulder. See if you can even spiral with your eyes and see as far as you can behind you. Find your focal point. Inhale, center, exhale, twist the other side. And back to the center. One more little meditation before we move on. This is a prosperity meditation that they do in Kundalini Yoga to attract wealth. So the sound is HUD. So the tip of the tongue goes to the roof of the mouth. So we'll chant HUD, HUD, HUD as we do this. The right thumb is underneath the left thumb at the chest. So it goes here and then here. So HUD, 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 HUD. So I kind of just tap. And then the gaze is at the tip of the nose. So you may feel like some sensations and when you're a kid, you're told not to look at your nose, the, uh, the tip of your nose, it crosses your eyes. But if at any point you start to get a headache or something, you can close your eyes and then still keep that sensation. But we'll do this for two minutes. And I'll put the timer on. And we'll begin. Hud, 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 hud. Hud, 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 going at your own pace. Hud, 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 hud. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Hud, 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 Receiving everything from your palms, keeping your gaze at the tip of your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Hold and squeeze. Receive. Exhale. 
exhale, release the hands, and we'll come to a child's pose. Bring the big toes together, the knees apart, the palms together, send the heels back to the hips, press the forehead. Feel your tailbone sinking down to your heels. And then slowly roll up through the spine, meeting on all fours. Open the palms as wide as you can, spread the fingers, knees under the hips. Be aware of the space beneath your navel here, keeping your core engaged, lengthening your neck by rolling, rolling your shoulder blades down your back. Press your fingers into the mat and then lift both pinky fingers off the mat, just the pinky fingers. Feel the activation in the rest of your hands. And then lower down. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. Release the pinky fingers and press so hard into the shins that the knees lift off. And hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Inhale, arch the back, open the chest. Cow pose. Look up to the ceiling. Exhale, curl through the tailbone into your cat. Send your gaze between your knees. Press the palms into the mat. Inhale, arch, open the heart, send the gaze up. Exhale, curl, exhale through the nose. Inhale, arch, and exhale, curl. Feel free to move on your own timing now. Going as fast or as slow as you need. Moving the thyroid and the neck, so moving the neck down and up too. Depending how fast or slow you're going, you may want to close your eyes. And then come back to the center. Move the hips over to the right as the head moves also to the right, but keep the gaze down at your palm, stretching the right side of your body or the left side of your body and the left side of your neck. So instead of looking back at your tailbone, we're keeping that gaze down back to the center and then the hips move to the left and the head moves to the left. Back to the center like your dog wagging its tail to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Back to the center. Now drop into the shoulder blades. Done this before. And then take your ribcage around your shoulders. It's a very subtle movement, not really moving the lower back very much, sinking into the shoulder blades, pressing out and up. If it helps, you can also bend at your elbows a little bit more. Sometimes that can help get the motion. And then reverse the circle coming forward, dropping into the shoulder blades, pressing out and up. here, flexing the right foot up to the ceiling, bending at the knee, 90 degree angle, move the knee up to the side, and then in, making a circle for three, two, 
one, keeping the torso still as much as possible, and then reverse that circle for three, two, one, keeping the hips square as much as you can, and then lower, inhale, exhale, other leg, and around for three, two, one, and reverse for three, two, one, lower, bring the knees together, the feet together, flip the palms to face up, bring more of the weight back onto your knees, Bend at the elbows, bringing the weight into your knees so you're not hurting yourself. And then as much as you can, straighten your elbows and hold for three, two, one, and release back onto your heels. Tuck your toes, roll out the wrists, stretching the arches of the feet. Squeeze the wrists together, or squeeze the hands into a fist. Squeeze the face, squeeze the elbows at the sides. Squeeze everything in the body, inhale. And then exhale, lion's breath. And lion's breath, we stick out the tongue and bring the gaze to the tip of the nose. Inhale, squeeze everything. Hold. Exhale. Wiggle the mouth and the nose and the eyes and the wrists. Awakening everything in the body and then coming back to all fours. Tuck the toes under and send the hips back into your downward facing dog. Feet should be about hip width apart or two fifths widths apart. Shoulders go down the back to give space for your ears and the length of your neck. Crown of the head to the mat. And three more deep breaths here. Spinning the sit bones up to the ceiling. Inhale, come up onto the toes and lower down. And then coming up and down for three, two, one. Roll through the spine, one vertebra at a time into your plank. Lower your knees, bend at the elbows, lower your chest, chin, baby cobra. Lifting just the upper back. Keeping the length of the neck, inhale. Exhale, back to your child's pose. Back to all fours, to down dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Grabbing opposite elbows here. You can have a bend in your knees. Bending the knees helps release the lower back. If you want more of a hamstring stretch, straighten your knees. And let your head hang here. You can let your shoulders come to your ears. And through the nose and out through the nose. Release the arms and slowly roll up through the spine for eight, seven, six, head and neck the last one to come up, four, three, two, one, all the way up. Roll the shoulders, in the head. Inhale, reach both arms up. Interlace the fingers, 
reach up. So the top of your mat, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, keep the chin tucked. Exhale, forward fold, step the right leg back into a low lunge. Pull up through the back kneecap, lower the right knee down, coming up one hand on each hip. From here, tuck the tailbone. Notice any changes. And then this is more of a, a nerve exercise. So bring the belly button to the spine and curl the spine like we do on all fours. Curl the spine and tuck the chin into the chest. Notice if you feel a greater amount of sensation here. This is to help our nervous system, any tension that we're carrying. Curl through the spine with the tailbone tucked, with the chin tucked. And then from here, if you so wish, you can hinge forward a bit more. Stretching out the front of the hip. Notice where you feel the sensation. And then slowly lengthen through the spine. Reach both arms up. Inhale, exhale, twist over to the left. Right hand to left knee. Back to the center, place both hands down. Sit back on the right heel, straighten the left leg. You can sit all the way back or stay up and fold here. Keep the left leg as straight as you can. In through the nose, out through the nose. Really allow the weight of your head to fall. Back to your low lunge. Tuck the back toes underneath. Reach the right arm up this time. And moving in a circle. You can also lower down your back knee at any point and move the circle. And reverse the circle, reach the arm behind you and forward. Place the right hand down. Tuck the toes if they weren't already. It's warrior two, spin the right heel parallel with the side of the mat, coming all the way up. Notice how that transition might have been a large transition all the way to the ground, all the way up in one piece. Inhale, exhale through the nose. Send the gaze over your middle finger and notice your body if it's leaning forward. Try to get the crown over the tailbone and the left thigh at a 90 degree angle as much as you can. Feel the squeezing of your glutes and the rotating of your inner thighs outward. From here, extended side angle, hinge forward. Place the left forearm on the thigh, right arm up. Option here, if you have your blocks, to use your block at any height or to reach your hand to the mat. But the blocks really help keep the left side of your torso engaged so that you're not sinking into the hip. Option here to also take a bind by reaching the right hand behind the back, 
you can stay here or also reaching the left thigh underneath or the right the left hand underneath the left thigh to interlace your hands behind your back and then you lean back Either way, leaning back. And then from here, look all the way up, straighten your left thigh. Hold, a little break. Inhale, and then exhale. We're gonna move into half moon. So you bend through the left knee. Have your block slightly in front of you. And then push through the back foot as you lift your right foot up. Keep the right ankle in line with the hips. Right arm up. You can look down to help your balance or look up. And imagine your back against a wall. Again, leaning back, going back. Opening the heart even more. Inhale, exhale, step back to your warrior two. And then turn in the left feet, the left foot. Standing, reach arms in opposite directions. And then move the hips around in a circle, going back and forward. Keeping the legs straight and using your glutes to squeeze as you come forward and hinging at the hips as you go back in through the nose out through the nose and then pause inhale exhale hinge forward at the hips flat back all the way down drop the crown of the head And then place the left hand in the middle in between your feet. Reach the right arm up, spiraling the heart and the chest. Inhale, exhale, lower. Right hand down and left hand reaches up. Inhale, exhale, lower. Walk your hands all the way to the left side to a low lunge. Step back to your plank. Move through your flow. You can also go plank to down dog. You can move knees, chest, chin for your full flow. Take a minute and down dog, exhale through the mouth. And then walk or lift your heels up and hop your feet in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up, palms to heart center. Roll the shoulders down the back, stand in your mountain pose. Look up where the wall meets the ceiling. Feel both feet rooting into the mat, rooting into the earth. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step the left foot back into a low lunge. Chin lock here, root lock. Lower the left knee down. One hand on either side of the hip. If this bothers your knee, try to tuck your toes and that helps protect the knee. Also, you can roll up your mat a little bit by folding it to give extra support or using a pillow. From here, tuck the tailbone first. 
and then curl through the spine, bring the belly button to the back wall, making a C curve, and then tuck the chin into the chest. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Allow any tension to release with your exhale and your breath. And then from here, you have the option to hinge forward, keeping everything where it is in terms of the chin, the C curve, and the tailbone tuck. And then from here, roll up through the spine. Twist over to the right, left hand on the right knee. Find your focal point. We call this our drishti in yoga. Your point of focus. Back to the center. Straighten the right foot and fold. Really pull up through that right kneecap. Be aware of the space beneath your navel point. And back to your low lunge, tuck the toes again or keep the knee down, lift the left arm up and around, moving the circle. Three, two, one, and reverse the circle back around. Really pulling up through that back thigh if your toes are tucked. Last one. Warrior two, spin the left foot to turn out. Open the arms all the way up and breathe. Shoulders down the back. Extended side angle, hinge forward. Keep the right torso, the right side of the torso engaged. Feel free to grab your block. Feel free to take your half bind, the left arm back, or your full bind. And again, lean back. And then release the bind, press back up. From here, bend in the right knee again, push off the back heel to your half moon. And lean back. Rooting through the arch of the foot. In through the nose and out through the nose. And then step back into your warrior two. Turn in arms out to the side, and then interlace the hands behind the back, or reach for one elbow, and then the other, and then open the armpits, or have your palms interlaced, and try to reach your palms towards one another. Open the heart, 
Lift the armpits. Forward fold here. And release the hands. Reach the hands through your legs. Back to the center, roll up through the spine for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the feet together, lift the arms up. Sit back in your heels, chair pose. You can bend up the elbows to help your shoulders. Sit even deeper, close off the front of the rib cage. Lift the toes off and then gently send them down without putting any weight. And breathe. Staying here, going a little bit deeper. And breathe. Inhale, reach up. Meet at the front of your mat. Inhale, still reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step or hop back into your plank. Move through your flow. Down dog. In through the nose. Out through the nose. Bring the feet together. Lift your right leg up high. Keep the hips squared. And then bend the knee, open the hips. And move the knee around in a circle for three, two, one. Reverse the circle. Keep the right hand really pressing into the mat. Three, two, one. We'll lower the right foot down. Lift the left leg high. Keep the hips parallel. And then bend the knee, open the hip. Keep the left hand pressing into the mat. Move the knee around for three, two, one. And reverse the circle for three, two, one. Keep the left leg high. Bring the knee all the way to the nose through your plank. Press up. Bring the knee all the way to your nose, to your plank, and press up. This time, bring the knee to the outside of your left wrist, in your pigeon pose. Reach the right leg behind you. Walk your hands to either side of your hips. Inhale. Using pillows or blocks under your hips if you need. And then exhale, forward fold. Stack your blocks, your fists to rest your forehead, your palms, or goalpost arms on either side of your shoulders. And rest your forehead. In through the nose and out through the nose.
Come back to your intention here. As you slowly walk yourself up on the exhale. Option to stay here or bend through the back knee. Reach the right arm to grab the inside arch of the right foot. Keep the shoulders as squared as possible. Press the foot into the hand. Engaging the right hamstring. And then release and let the knee fold deeper. Reach the left arm up and behind the back. Press the back of the head into the left forearm. Option to stay here or option to reach the back foot even deeper into the crease of your elbow and then interlace your hands. You can also, if it's not working for the bottom half, you can also come out of the posture and reach the right hand behind the back and the left hand over and get a little bit of a shoulder stretch. This is a place where you can also use your strap to help you behind the back. And in this posture, a lot of times we want to flare the rib cage, keep the ribs closed. And then my people in the bind can release one leg and the arm. Good. And we release. Come back to your down dog. Shake out anything you need. And then reach the right leg up high. Bring the knee to the nose through your plank. And back up. Inhale, exhale through your plank. And back up. And the right knee all the way through to the right wrist. Pigeon, walk your hands to either side of your hips. Coming up first and then exhale all the way down. And again, come back to your intention. Become aware of the rhythm of your breath, not changing it, just noticing. Allow the exhale to be a form of surrender. Surrender to what you cannot control, but then also surrender to any sensations you have in your body. What potential can you reach when you surrender? As you exhale, walk your hands up. option to reach behind and grab the left foot. Press the foot into the hand. Reach the right arm up behind the back. 
Again, for the modification, just come out of the legs and reach your hand behind your back and reach the other hand underneath, reaching for the fingertips, but you can use your strap or your towel. And then my people who wanna go deeper into the bind, or not want necessarily, but your body allows for you to go into your bind. And then release your leg and your arm. And we'll extend both legs out in front of us, shaking out the legs. I'm gonna show an option for instead of pigeon because um, it can bother people's knees or hips. So another option for pigeon next time, if it doesn't feel right for your body, you cross your, you can do this with me if you would like, you cross your ankle over your knee and then you reach your hands through to the back of your thigh. And this is also, you relax your left calf. While you're here, you wanna keep your shoulders down the back, away from the ears. And also send your tailbone down, like you're arching your lower back so that the tailbone stays down and you feel the stretch in your hip versus curling through the spine. You want to send the tailbone down. And then if everyone's here, from here, we'll just twist, so release your hands and let your legs fall to the left, exactly how they are, and then send your gaze over your right shoulder. Sending the right cheek to the mat. And through the nose, exhale, twist. Your spine is a towel, you're wringing out all of the water. Right, letting go of anything left. Getting rid of all the lactic acid in your body. Inhale, exhale, let your legs move down, keep them on the ground, lengthen behind you, underneath you, turn in and out your thighs, and then bring the feet back up, cross the left ankle over the right knee this time, reach and interlace the fingers under the right thigh. Feel like the left knee is pressing down away from the left shoulder. In through the nose, out, shoulders down, onto the mat as much as you can. Head stays down. You can even do your chin lock here and you'll feel a lengthening in the back of your neck when you do that. And that's the same feeling we want while we're sitting and standing. Release the hands, move the legs over to the right, letting them fall. Send the gaze over the left shoulder, place the left cheek on the mat as much as you can. And then from here, keep your feet on the ground. 
and move them right underneath you into your Shavasana. This time place one hand over your heart and one hand over your navel. Let your elbows hang and fall though, not holding on to any weight. Close your eyes. Notice any sensations in your body. Let the space between the eyebrows soften. Release the eyelids onto the eyeballs. Let go of the front of the neck. Allow the lips to slightly part. Then go of the tongue. Again, surrender with every exhale. And gently start to wiggle your fingers and your toes and ankles. Awakening your body. Roll onto one side of your body into a fetal position. Taking your time. Allowing that posture to be the rebirth of your practice. Fetal position, like you're in the womb. Have everything you need with you. Others will always show you exactly where you are stuck. They say or do something, and you automatically get hooked into a familiar way of reacting. Shutting down speeding up, or getting all worked up. When you react in the habitual way, with anger, greed, and so forth, it gives you a chance to see your patterns and work with them honestly and compassionately. Without others provoking you, you remain ignorant of your painful habits and cannot train in transforming them into the path of awakening. Again, noticing if anything resonated with you differently this time. Uh, let go of anything that doesn't. Use the strength of your arms to come up into a seated position. Keep your eyes at a soft gaze or closed. Notice your breath. And remind yourself that you can always come back to your breath. Bring the palms together. We'll end with one unified om. Inhale through the nose. The light in me honors and sees the light in each and every one of you. We bow to that which is divine. Namaste.
Thank you all so much for coming today.